so in the earlier lecture I talked about non invariant phase space so today I will discuss the general formulation for uh, uh, Lorentz invariant phase space so let us recall few things from the earlier lecture so as uh, we have defined in the earlier lecture that the transition rate transition rate and it was defined as it is 2 pi over h cross it is 2 pi <laughs> 2 pi upon h cross m prime square and rho e let us call it as equation number one and here uh, m prime and rho e both are non invariant right and uh, <coughs> under Lorentz transformation under Lorentz transformation now but there is another formula it was given by 2 pi over h cross m double prime square and r e and here okay, let us call it as equation number 2 here matrix element m double prime is Lorentz invariant Uh, this is calculated in relativistic and this m double prime this is calculated in the relativistic quantum field theory field theory by application of Feynman rules by application of Feynman rules so here I am using some direct results Feynman rules right and here RE is also invariant RE is also invariant So to convert this into in this form let us first of all talk about this that what is rho e so this rho e as we have defined in the earlier lecture it is integral i varies from 1 to n means it's a product and uh, d q p i delta q summation i varies from 1 to n p i minus p and these are basically vector quantities and delta e i minus e like we are, uh, sorry uh, summation will also be there summation e i minus e where i varies from 1 to n right so let us call it as equation number 3 so as this phase space formula this phase space formula is not symmetrical symmetrical in E and P because here it is the TQP here it is the delta Q with momentum and energy part is also sitting so that means it is not symmetrical in E and P and therefore and therefore is not invariant under Lorentz transformation
mission so to find add so to find an invariant expression invariant expression for phase space formula phase space formula we replace this dq pi by dq pi over 2 ei this corresponds to corresponds to the relation between this corresponds to the the relation between non relativistic matrix element m prime and feynman amplitude amplitude that is m double prime so therefore this r n e it will be written as i varies from 1 to n sorry integral and product i varies from 1 to n it is d q p i over 2 e i and delta q summation i varies from 1 to n p i minus p into delta summation i varies from 1 to n e i minus e that's what we will do here and let us call it as equation number 4 so the phase space the phase space given by this equation this equation is invariant under Lorentz transformation and the factor 2 e i enters from the enters from the from the normalization of wave function in field theory wave function in field theory so I am talking about it not here I am using direct results so thus R e can be written as rho e product i varies from 1 to n 1 upon 2 e i 1 upon 2 e i and let us call it as equation number 5 so now the equation number 4 equation number 4 can also be written in the form of 4 momenta equation 4 can be written in the form of 4 momenta means energy and momenta are club together so that means this r and e it can be written as a product i varies from 1 to n it is d3 p over 2 e i delta 4 summation p i minus p 
i varies from 1 to n here energy and momentum are clapped together means uh, this p i and p this corresponds to initial and final momenta initial and final momenta also p i can be written as p i comma iota e uh, iota e i also p can be written as p comma iota e also p i square can be written as p i square minus e i square or p square can be written as p square minus e square for momenta for four momenta i am not putting vector over here but for simple momenta i am putting vector over it right also we know that that e square is equal to p square plus m square and we will use another relationship that uh, i am using it directly that d4p into delta p square minus m square it can be written as dqp over 2e this is the standard result which i am using so if i put this relationship here and let us call it as equation number 6 so if i put this this here then equation number 6 will become that r and e is equal to this is r and e is equal to i varies from 1 to n d4 pi delta pi square m i square delta 4 summation i varies from 1 to n p i minus p and let us call it as equation number uh this is 7 and this is equation number 8 so equation 6 and 8 are the required formula for lorentz invariance lorentz invariant phase space right so that's all for this lecture and in the lecture next lecture i will talk about two body invariant phase space